Hi guys, it's Miss Brown speaking. So we are continuing to work with angle pairs. This time we have to incorporate algebra within our study of geometry. So let's look at number one. We can see in number one that there is a little box right here, which means that's a 90 degree angle. So we can say, that those two angles are complementary because their sum is 90 degrees. So that's important. So we need to figure out what X is. Remember, the sum of those angles is 90 degrees. So in order to find X, this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to take that 72 degree angle and add it to the 3x plus 3 degree angle. And we know altogether that their sum is equal to 90. So our equation is 72 plus 3x plus 3 equals 90. So I hope we remember what to do right now. We spent a little while talking about combining like terms. And like terms have the same variable with the same exponent. Notice that positive 72 and the positive 3 both do not have a variable. So they're both constants and they are like terms. So therefore, I am going to combine that 72 and that positive 3 and get a positive 75. And I still have to add 3x to it and that would equal to 90. Now, the first thing we're going to do is look for the constant. The constant is just a number. So that 75 is over there with the variable. Remember, we're trying to get the variable by itself. Since the 75 is positive, I am going to undo that by subtracting 75. And what I do to one side, I am going to do to the other. So 75 minus 75 is 0. I'm going to bring down the positive 3x is equal to, and 90 minus 75 is equal to 15. By the way, guys, you can use calculators on this assignment, okay? To make things easier, just go ahead and use calculators for your computations. But I do need to see your algebra work. Our new equation is 3x is equal to 15. So remember, we need to get the variable by itself. Right now, the variable is being multiplied by 3. So to undo multiplication, we have to divide this side by 3. But what we do on one side, we do to the other. 3 divided by 3 would leave us with 1x. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. So our answer is x is equal to 5. And if you are unsure if your work is correct, you can always plug that value in. So I want to think, well, what is 3 times 5 plus 3? Well, 3 times 5 plus 3 times 5 is 15 is 15 plus 3 would be 18. So if I take that 72 degree angle and add it to that 18 degree angle, I'm going to get 90, which is exactly what I should get. Okay, the next problem. If I look, I see two angles that form a line. Remember, a line is has a measure of 180 degrees. So these two angles are supplementary. So remember, when we have supplementary angles, 
the sum is 180 degrees. So I'm going to take this first angle right here, which measures 6x plus 13 degrees, and I'm going to add it to this next angle right here, which measures 14x minus 33 degrees. And when I add those together, that's going to equal 180. I'm going to get rid of these degree symbols because they're really not necessary, and I'm afraid I'm going to mistake them for a zero. So anyway, we have a very long equation, and I hope that we remember that the first thing we need to do is combine like terms. So notice we have a 6x and we have a positive 14x. Those are like terms. And then we have a 13 and a negative 33. Those are like terms. So 6x plus 14 would give me 20x. And 13 plus negative 33 gives me negative 20. And that's going to equal 180 degrees. So we have to get the variable by itself. Right now, we need to find the constant or the number without a variable. That's that negative 20. To undo a negative 20, we would need a positive 20. But what we do to one side of our equation, we do to the other. And we get 20x. Negative 20 plus 20 is 0 is equal to, and 180 plus 20 is 200. So now our equation says 20x is equal to 200. So we've got to get the variable by itself. The variable is being multiplied by 20. We undo multiplication with division, but what we do on one side of the equation, we must do to the other. 20 divided by 20 gives us a positive 1x, and 200 divided by 20 gives us 10. So our answer is that x is equal to 10. And again, if you are unsure, you can go back and plug that information in your original problem. So I got to think, well, what is 6 times 10 plus 13? 6 times 10 is 60 plus 13 is 73. And then I need to think, well, what is 14 times 10 minus 33? 14 times 10 is 140. Subtract 33, that gives me 107 degrees. And if I take that 73 degrees and add it back to 170 degrees, I get 180, which is what I am supposed to get. Okay, so here is another example. This next example actually is an example of vertical angles. Remember, vertical angles are two opposite congruent angles formed by intersecting lines. Congruent means they're equal. So, therefore, this angle that measures 4x plus 8 has to be equal to the other angle that measures 27 degrees. So that's my equation. 4x plus 8 equals 27. So remember, we want to get the variable by itself. We need to look for the constant. The constant is that positive 8. We undo a positive 8 with a negative 8. But what we do on one side of our equation, we do to the other. 
we are going to bring down the 4x. 8 minus 8 equals 0. And 27 minus 8 equals 19. So now we have 4x equals 19. So we still want to get the variable by itself. The variable is being multiplied by 4. To undo multiplication, we divide by 4. And what we do on one side of the equation, we do to the other. 4 divided by 4 is 1. We have 1x is equal to, and I'm just going to plug 19 divided by 4 in my calculator, and I get 4 decimal 75. All right, good luck, guys. Bye-bye.